What we have in this example below me is a Flymotion Guardian Mobile Talk and the TSC MTS 2.0 tracking antenna. So a VTOL drone like the Quantum System Vector allows for long uh, ISR capability. Uh, since it's a, a fixed wing configuration, when it's, when it's flying, it's able to maintain air time a lot longer. It's much more efficient. So a connection node is a radio that's part of a network that pushes data, usually control or video, from a user to a device or another operator. It's just one relay point within an entire local network. So in this instance, this connection node, this radio is being amplified or augmented by a tracking antenna, allowing a high gain antenna to be tracked on a node at all times. Higher gain means a tighter beam, but since it's tracking, it's able to maintain that beam at the correct location at all times. What this enables is an operator can sit behind armor and maintain long range capability in a variety of forms. Taking off. We're currently testing this with a couple UAS capabilities that enable an operator to control and receive low latency video downlink. We're also utilizing the Silvis mesh network, enabling robust and redundant connectivity with a local network. This allows an operator to push out V feed or control to other operators on the ground. Roger is coming in right now. This can be used in a variety of combinations, ground, air, or maritime, enabling a robust and all-encompassing ecosystem of unmanned technology. If you guys have any questions about these capabilities or other capabilities that work alongside them, please reach out to our social media accounts or the link provided.